Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to an early screening of the September 12th event by Apple by Meme, where we're gonna be taking a look at the Apple Watch Series 4, an extensive look, as well as the new iPhone 10s models. And there's so much to learn just from the picture that was leaked. We actually recreated the entire model and wow, it's a world of difference from the previous Series 3. It was such a challenge to build actually, and we'll get into why here in a second. I also wanted to remind you that yes, I am doing an iPhone giveaway, so go to the video link down below in the description if you want to enter into that one. This is for the 10s in gold, as well as an Apple Watch Series 4, which you're going to want a lot more after seeing this video. So I wanted to start with a rumor, something I've heard around the internet about how they actually got the images, these promo images, and it might not have been from the live stream. Some people from 9to5Mac's website might have been testing a random combination of URLs, uh, something with iPhone 10s in the title, and apparently somehow they got into the product landing page, the testing page, and they got the pictures from there or so I've heard it's a rumor not confirmed just saw it around the internet um, just thought that was interesting because I thought it would be a little bit too easy to pull it from the stream itself so that's yet to be confirmed but could be and here are those pictures in their full glory with uh, my attempt at removing the watermarks I'm no pro but I think it was a pretty decent job on the Apple watch I got the entire watch face which I then extracted and we used in our models so very cool that it turned out the way it did for us looks really nice all right so let's start with that Apple watch Watch Series 4. Now, originally we just altered our old design and it didn't really work. The proportions were different. The size itself stays the same, but uh, it's just so different. The actual chassis has gotten a little bit thinner and it's not so much about being thinner, it's about being more round. It's like a pebble now. Uh, it's got more intense angles on the front and uh, back sides. Well, we can't really tell much about the back, so we had to guess a little bit there, but from what we can see, we learned so much and building it off of this, it was quite a challenge. So the display on the front, it, again, it does have a smoother runoff onto uh, the actual glass, it gives it more of a pebblish appearance, and it does seem a little bit thinner. So I saw this morph on Reddit today where they morphed the old generation into the new one, and it does appear that it is actually thinner from this, but focal length can actually have a lot to do with this, and just to give you a demo, we adjusted that for you. It can make it look a lot thinner, like the display is larger at the same time, and if you pull it way back, it can look fatter and closer to you, just not as pleasant. So Apple definitely plays a lot with this. And you can certainly do that in your renders uh, to give it the best appearance possible. So don't let that deceive you. It is most likely a little bit thinner, but not as much as it seems. On the edges of the display and the watch itself, the curve radius is increased. So that's why it has more of a roundish appearance and it flows so nicely. It's like a little drop of liquid. It's, it's a really nice design in general. So recreating it can't help but marvel at that. It's going to see so sleek on your arm and of course you do have a larger display here so I'm assuming it's gonna be a 46 millimeter and uh, we just basically increase the screen size you can't really tell the borders from the promo image that was leaked where uh, the bezels end but I'm assuming it would be around here and with that new watch face what a stunner. It simply looks incredible. There's a lot of complications there. It's a very busy watch face, but that doesn't need to be the only one you use. I saw a lot of complaints about that. I personally like it. I kind of wish the Apple would make a little bit more of a dense one by adding even one more complication, but this has nine total actually. So not eight, it has nine complications on the front. That's ridiculous. And next up, there is actually a huge change that happens to the digital crown. So the old one and the new one, first off, they don't look so much alike anymore. Obviously the red dot on the side is no longer a red dot it's more of a little stripe going around it it's a very clean accent I do like it a lot uh, but aside from that if you look at the ridges themselves the ridges are more defined and uh, they run down alongside the length of the crown and the crown itself seems to have been made flatter flatter and possibly wider it just seems like it's half the thickness of the old one and actually modeling it so we could definitely tell how they implemented it into the body it seems to be flowing a lot cleaner now like it's sitting on top of the metal not uh, indented inside of it it's a very confusing perspective from uh, the picture that was leaked but we try to recreate it as accurately as possible and it looks pretty dang good. And going off of this leaked gold color, I predict that Apple will release these in the same colors matching the new iPhones, a stainless steel space gray, a stainless steel silver, and uh, this stainless steel gold look to match the iPhones. That'd actually be very nice because if you have an iPhone right now, the only matching color to it is the space gray ceramic, which is quite expensive. So if they have a matching strategy with the iPhones, it could actually help sales even, I don't know. But uh, it would look really cool. So. 
new colors, possibly any colors of the iPhones. Oh, and here's a new watch face inspired by the new artwork that Apple uh, sent out in their invites with the gold band. So possibly make a watch face out of that. That would look really nice. So that's the Apple Watch Series 4. And I think it's gonna push a lot of people to upgrade just because of how big of an update it is. A larger display, thinner design, most likely. Again, it could be the focal lengths and whatnot, but I do believe it is a thinner design. So it would be more comfortable, possibly on the bottom, the uh, health rate monitor sensor could stick out a little less because that's one of the most uncomfortable things about the Apple Watch for me right now. It does seem to have a slightly larger button, just uh, spread out a little bit more, and it does have a microphone between the crown and the button. So it could have, again, additional features when it comes to a voice or something like that. Talking and responding to the Apple Watch could be improved greatly. And the Apple Watch band seems to still work with this new design. So in the renders, we actually used some old bands and it worked just as fine. So that is a very good sign for the people that had some nice bands and didn't want to buy new ones. It's going to be a great update. I think you guys will really love it. It's one of the things I'm most excited for now. And here's an interesting point. So we know it'll be called the iPhone 10s. We don't know exactly how it'll be written. It might be an iPhone 10 capital S, an iPhone 10 lowercase s, or an iPhone 10 space s. I'm guessing it'll be iPhone 10 and lowercase s as that's how they did the iPhone 6s and all the S models before that, well, the 5s anyways. And we don't know exactly if it'll have the S badge on the back. That's just what I would think Apple would do to differentiate it at least a little bit from the previous model. We'll have to see about that. And a prediction regarding the most popular model come release day, I believe it'll be the iPhone 10s Plus. And could it be that this will sell out faster than any time before just because of a new color and a larger size? Uh, I believe the iPhone 6 Plus originally when it came out, it had the new uh, gold color with it well, after the 5S. And that one was like the most popular one. It sold out completely online within minutes. It was just a really hard device to get in general. So I believe the same will apply for the 10S Plus. Oh, and 905 Mac actually released that wallpaper. So if you guys wanted the promo image wallpaper of the new iPhones a little bit early, you can get them right now. It's not the greatest quality and we use them in our renders. It's a little pixelated, but you know, considering we have it ahead of release, you know, I'm happy with that. And then Apple Eye Designer released his interpretation of it. So this is a rebuild. Build. It doesn't look exactly the same, but it's close enough and high resolution if you wanted that one as an alternative as well. And an interesting detail is that this is not a planet. It's actually a bubble. Those are all of the rainbow effects, shimmers on an actual bubble if you zoom in really closely. So I don't believe this is space. It could be some crazy exoplanets, uh, but it is most likely a bubble. Oh, and I'd like to point something out about the iPhone 9's resolution. It's a little bit worrying how low it is. So Felipe Esposito actually said this. It's a 1792 by 828 display that makes it have a pixel density of 323 pixels per inch. That's basically the iPhone 6 and below era to the iPhone 4. They kept around that resolution for the longest time. So Apple's going back to it and it scales directly to the iPhone iPhone XS Plus rumored resolution. So it'll be one of the big constraints of buying a cheaper model. And I think that could shy a lot of people away from buying this thing. For 2018, that's a pretty bad resolution, but hey, it might look really good in person. We'll see. And regardless of the iPhone 9 shortcomings, this will still be Apple's best year, supposedly, since the iPhone 6 release. Digitimes is reporting that Apple is rumored to ship between 70 to 75 million iPhones by the end of 2018. That is a super cycle, a mega cycle, if you will. And that is really, really good news for all Apple investors. And they said all the companies that are working with Apple are gonna go along with the stock price rise. Oh, and Apple is definitely looking towards the future of displays with micro LED as they continue to work, research, and develop it. Apparently, Economic Daily News of Taiwan said Apple sent out a couple of representatives to a display show event where they're gonna be talking with some major corporations, trying to get uh, some sort of micro LED deals going, possibly seeing how the evolution of this technology is going. And Bloomberg actually said earlier that Apple is developing this in secret in a lab in California. There are a lot of challenges that come with micro LED displays, but once they can figure them out, they will have one of the best, most energy efficient, brightest, uh, in general, less burnouts uh, displays ever made. It's definitely gonna be an incredible transition, but it'll be a while until we get it. It's early 2020s. Oh, and it seems that the first iPhone 9 clone, if that's what it's to be called, the 6.1 inch has surfaced. So from the same guys that brought you the iPhone 10s Plus, 
we have a first look at the iPhone 9 clone and yeah, it does have that camera, it does have the flash underneath it, doesn't look like anything special really, still has a little bit of a bottom chin area, but it does have a notch up top and a larger display. So I did order one, we'll see what happens um, just to get that size perspective before Apple releases it in October supposedly because they are delaying this thing after the release of the 5.8 and the 6.5 inch iPhone XS models. And I just have a question to leave this video off with you guys. What would it take for you to upgrade from an iPhone X to an iPhone XS? For me personally, I think it would be ProMotion displays. I would love to have that 120 hertz refresh rate from the iPad Pros. It's, it's one of my favorite things about the iPad. That's why I like picking it up and using it, interacting with it. It's just so pleasant to do so. I think that would be a huge jump from the 10 to 10S if it got that technology. Also even faster wireless charging and much faster Face ID. That's one of the big limitations about the iPhone 10 that I don't like. Face ID just takes way too long and a next gen would definitely, I think, incentivize a bunch more people to come to the 10S. Anyways, leave a comment down below. I'm curious to know what it would take for you. And there it is, guys. That is our latest concept and render based on the official Apple uh, press event images. And I think it turned out pretty nicely. Really excited for that completely redesigned Apple Watch Series 4. And of course, the gold iPhone 10s will be a very nice touch as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, if you want to enter that giveaway, there's a link down below in the description. Do do that. You have about uh, two, three weeks, I believe, till I can ship that out. But uh, thanks for watching.